hello and happy Halloween. This is this is a bit nice, isn't it? We're currently, babe. Where even are we? Oh my gosh, I don't know if anyone else gets this, but when staying in the van, sometimes I will lose all sense of where we've been. Like I'll wake up in the morning and I'll be like, where the f where the fuck are we? Like I can't remember exactly where we parked. But we are literally about a two minute walk from Bremer, Bremer? I can't remember the name of the town. Pop it on the screen. We stayed in a really lovely quiet park up last night, really close to the town. And now we are in the most stunning location for a morning walk. It um, frosted this morning. So the ground is still all crunchy underfoot and yeah obviously the clocks have gone back now so it does feel a bit more wintry oh this is my ideal place you can see kevlar just up there As I mentioned earlier, it is Halloween. Um, so I decided to wander down to the shop to get us some Halloween-y snacks for later. We're having a movie night and we're gonna watch Beetlejuice. So it's gonna be an absolute cracker. I'll show you the setup in a second because I am a big fan of the projector that we've got in the van. Cam is a gem. Cam is less of a gem however for the cake that he just cut me I, I came back with lemon cake i've been really wanting some cake something mm, just comforting and i asked cam to cut me a slice he's like deadly serious he cut a slice this size for me can you tell me in the comments whether or not you think this qualifies as a slice of cake i just i don't understand tell me what was going through your mind it's a small cake to begin with it's also, was it nearly four o'clock? It's three o'clock. Three o'clock, right, so it's not lunch, it's not dinner. And uh, we're gonna have more later on, so your daily intake of cake. It's got a big mouth, haven't you? You done? You touch the sides? I'm just reassessing everything. I've got three bags of crisps that he also bought out here. I'm going on a walk in a day, you know, I don't want to interject you or anything. Just looking out for you, babes. I had a nice date night dinner planned for um, Halloween. And we've just run out of gas. Cake for dinner. <laughs> you can have it all. <laughs> Eat it all. <laughs> to find somewhere to get gas. I don't think there's anywhere near here that does gas. I have to look online. Oh. Okay, we're really yes, gonna have so to... I don't have to wash up. I see this as a win. This is not a win. <laughs> <laughs> the snow is so fitting. Waking up to this this morning has made my mood go like Boop. So I've just finished my meetings and now I'm uh, oh, embracing it and feeling alive for a little bit. It's meant to be here for a few hours and it's quite heavy. Love snow! <laughs> Don't give up on love. Don't give up. Don't give up. So we've done a, a mighty drive today and we are now in Perth. I am praying that this petrol station has LPG because. Otherwise, we've just done an hour and a half journey for no reason. 
content. And obviously it says it's got LPG on the Autogas website, but like, what if they're out of stock? What if, oh. Why did we never do that thing of calling ahead? Maybe we should have just called ahead. I don't know. Hopefully it's not a lesson we're gonna have to learn today. It's on the side. LPG. Where is it? Is it that thing on the left there? LPG. Yay! Yay! LPG! So, it's another one of those weeks, I think, where things aren't totally going to plan. Obviously, LPG disaster. We drove to the petrol station, it had LPG. Beautiful problem solved. We drove back to one of our favourite spots um, in this area anyway. Yesterday night, great, and then realised that the DC to DC charger is not in fact charging. Not ideal. The DC to DC is pretty fundamental for us, especially in winter, because obviously for, for work, for everything, um, we rely on power. And the DC to DC, when there's no sun around, is our main source of actually getting power back into the batteries. Cam and I had a look at the troubleshooting, predominantly Cam, and yeah, it's uh, it's broken. Uh, we can't fix it, it seems to be a fault. Renergy are going to refund us, I believe. We spoke to our customer service this morning. Um, and another fortunate turn of events means that we actually can get a new DC to DC charger from Renergy ordered on Amazon dispatched and should arrive in this town that we're actually staying in tomorrow. So crisis averted, I think. The need for charge though, and a need to look at what's going on in the batteries and just get some juice back in just to guarantee I can work, means that we've come to a campsite today. A very average, if not below average, campsite in a beautiful town. So town, 10 out of 10. Pitlock Creek, 100% recommend you visit. But yeah, the campsite itself is mid. It's, I don't know, pretty ugly. Nowhere to really exercise the dogs. And I don't know, it serves a purpose, doesn't it? I'll check out the showers later and let you know what they're like. <laughs> but when we nipped into the town earlier, I did get a beautiful, beautiful focaccia for lunch from one of the bakeries there. And I visited a chocolate shop. I love a proper chocolate shop where they actually like make and source all of their chocolate themselves. And the guy in there was amazing. He was really nice to chat to. So I will put the name of the chocolate shop on the screen. Definitely recommend that when you're in the area. Add it to the list. And I'm gonna show you what I bought. So here is what I bought from the chocolate shop. So we have a beautiful artisan bar of 75% dark chocolate from Borneo. Apparently this um, cocoa has a deep chocolate base with notes of lychee and passion fruit and a hint of cinnamon. And of course I bought some chocolates. These are so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I nearly dropped them. Ah! Look at those! You see them? <gasps> Look at those! Don't know which one I'm gonna try first. I don't even remember what they are. But I'm excited. Hello, good morning, happy weekend. Weekend? That's, that's not the weekend. It's Friday, it's not the weekend. Yet. Feels like the weekend though, doesn't it? <laughs> Hello and happy Friday. <laughs> um, we've been at a campsite last night. We've got that full charge that we needed and Cam solved the problem that we were having with the batteries. So it's a full house really and optimism continues. I'd say this is a heavily average campsite. Um, there's not much space around the pitches. The toilets and shower block are good. It was hot. At a stingy timer on the shower though, it ran out really quickly when you click the button. So hot water, nice shower head, but like 15 second bursts of water, not good. I've also got the laundry going as well. Very much appreciate the laundry facilities. It is £4.50 for a huge wash 
and one pound fifty for fifty minutes on the dryer. So the total spend on laundry is less than even just washing it at a Revolution Laundry. So 10 out of 10, top class laundry facilities. Uh, bottom points for dog walks. There's nowhere to walk the dogs around here. So that is not a good thing. Um, so yeah, for the rest of it today, we are gonna go to Pit Lockery, uh, pick up a couple of things at the shops, then park up near the town. We've got a couple of parcels to pick up tomorrow as well. It's our whole life, isn't it? So we're gonna hang around for another day. And yeah, it's firework night this weekend too. So there might even be some fireworks. I think the town is having theirs on Saturday night, which is exciting. Remember, remember. But I'm gonna finish my coffee. So I will leave you there and I'll make sure to go and have a quick tour of the campsite for you before we leave today. One thing this campsite really does have going for it is that it's got a really good motorhome service area. Look at this. Loads of space, nice big grid to drop your grill waste down. Fresh water, chemical disposal. All nice and convenient. What do you think, hand dog? Do you like it? <laughs> do you like it? <laughs> Hi. Hey, we're all done at the campsite. Um, we're a little bit over 12 actually, we're meant to be out by 12 and it's 12.06. Shh. Off the pitch though, aren't we? It's a grey area maybe. Any campsite wardens watching, let us know if uh, we violated your rules. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to go to co-op and um, we need to go and get some shopping. And then park up, isn't it? Yeah, it's so just going to see if I can track our deliveries. Cool, I'll write a shopping list. Morning, and I would say happy weekend because it is Saturday, but we have not had a happy morning. Uh, this morning, the heater, uh, the heater? The water heater broke. We had a leak through one of the crappy parts as part of the water heater. Nothing to do with the bits that Cam did, just the kind of parts that came with the heater have just been shoddy. So obviously that was fun. Cam spent the morning trying to figure out this leak and fix it, which he has. Um, or at least he's fixed it so it's not leaking anymore. We don't have hot water for now. And now we're just gonna stroll back into Pit Lockery, pick up a parcel and go and unwind. Oh, while all that was going on this morning, I did have a really lovely walk with the dogs though. We went up and around like the edge of one of the mountains here and it was it was really pretty. So I'll pop that on the screen because that's a little ray of sunshine from the morning. But obviously they do say bad things come in threes and I think we've had all three this week now. We had the LPG running out, we had the water heater issue, and we had the DC to DC charger breaking, so. We have a call in, call in warning light on the back now. But it's great because bad things actually come in fours. <laughs> and we've got a call in warning light on the dash apparently. That's an easy fix though. That's an easy fix, right babe? Yeah, that's fine. I think I've got them on board. It's an easy fix. <laughs> Oh, time to go. I'm just gone to dig around in the back for some coolant, which I think he's found. Did you find some? Yes. Yes. So this won't turn into a catastrophe, hopefully. <laughs> We've had such a week that, oh God, I'm tired. Go on, on the floor. We've made it to our park up and we've got the rest of the day ahead of us now to actually unwind. When Cam went to pick up his parcel, he also picked up Dunkin' Donuts. How do they smell? It's good, eh? So yeah, I'm, I'm very happy about that. We're gonna have a tea, a donut, a sandwich, maybe not in that order, 
and yeah just let myself relax a little it's been a stressful week so today is my day <laughs> um thank you so much for tuning in again this week and for watching this video even though that it has been kind of disaster after disaster but we're still living our best lives we're still smiling we're still a good team and hey we're still on our way to glencoe so there is more adventures coming your way very soon thanks again and i'll i'll see you next week wait just so you know it wasn't my idea to get the open down that's i had no choice I sort of stand and demanded them. <laughs>